Hello everyone, I'm Daniel here. Uh, today I will teach you guys how to do some basic movement uh, using Gudo. Uh, as you can see I have here some left and right and jump movement. However, for today we are going only to work with uh, up, down, left and right movements for those games that are not platforms and you can create an open world with only uh, that. So no further ado, let's get started. Uh, I already created here a, a Godot project uh, and when you open Godot for the first time it will be like this. We have the 3D view and you have here your roots to create your scene. Since we are going to work in 2D, I will change it here to 2D and create a 2D scene or a 2D node because on Godot we work with uh, nodes and not scene, but you can call it a, a scene anyway. So double click and we already have our first node. So uh, what we are going to need here to create our player is to create a character body. Uh, it's uh, kind of for those that came from uh, Unity, it's sort of uh, an object creating a 2D object. Uh, but here it's called uh, 2D character body. To add the body, it's simple. You have need to have the 2D uh, node selected and go here, add a child node or right click and add a child node or using Control A to as a shortcut. So we're going here. <laughs> as you can see, I already was searching for the character 2D, but you have here a lot, a tons of stuff if you want to to add it, but you can um, play around and see what else they have they have here so but now I will search search for character body not not church we are we are not priests um, <laughs> so let's go character body 2d and as you can see the character body 2d has a warning here if you go the here to the warning you see that the character body needs to have a collision shape uh, but we're going to control here but before adding the collision shape we can add the our rigid body 2d to have some physics now here on the rigid body you can add the collision shape and you have a warning on the collision shape saying that uh, you need to give the collision shape as a number as a name to refer a shape so for that we're going here to the right side and you have shape when you have the collision shape selected go here and you can grab the one that you want i will use the rectangle shape okay let me just check here Okay, we don't need the rigid body here. Uh, 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 <laughs> as you guys can see, I'm learning at the same time. I, I'm showing you guys how to do stuff because I will, I'm doing the migration uh, from Unity to Godot. So <laughs> now that we have uh, that we have our character, we are going to add here a sprite to have a sprite. 2D, we don't use, going to use, at least for now, the animated uh, sprite to do because that one is to do the animations to our players. We are going to use only the sprite 2D because with the sprite to do what, what, sorry, with the sprite 2D, what we can do, add textures. So with the sprite 2D selected, you have texture. You can go here and do all this. I like to grab it, drag and drop it. I'm going to use the Godot icon for this uh, particular uh, example, so edit. One thing uh, you need to do, if you do this, as you can see the collision is there and the character body is there as well. Control Z, you need to go to your character body and here in this icon to group it or you just do Control G. And now you have the character body, collision shape, and sprite 
uh, in one group and now you can move it around as, as you want it so I'll put it here in the middle sort of uh, at least for now we don't have any script I just blinked for you guys to see how Gudo is fast to open stuff and load stuff so go here to this button here to play or press F5 so play uh, you need to select the current uh, scene I will just do one thing first Control S to save you I will call it world to our scene as you can see the name of the scene was the name of the node but I want to call it world so save it we already have our scene saved here we select the current scene and as you can see Godot is fast to open stuff at least for now as you can see we are doing nothing so let's close it and now let's add the funny part let's add a script let me just put my mic a little bit up let's add a script to our body you can go here add the script or attach script you can do both you can select your body add the script or go right click and touch script here it's simpler so uh, as you can see here is the language that you are going to use in my case I will use GD script not C sharp if you add the version um, of Godot with the C sharp you will have both options if not we, you will only have the Godot uh, the GD script option I will work with the GD script uh, here at least for now we don't need to work on that and the name I will let the name as it is and create okay this already have some stuff here because I was uh, testing I will remove everything <laughs> uh, because we are going to do that stuff from scratch so no further ado uh, as you can see this is the extent character body because it's the name of our uh, character body 2d and here this the GD script is very similar to Python if you're not familiar to Python you can check it out on the on the web and you will see that the code is very similar and so that makes uh, easier to um, to code in GD script because Python itself it's easier to to work with. So no further ado, let's go and create our stuff. <coughs> so you can create uh, variables. You have two types of variables. It's var and const. Var it's for variables that will be modified. Uh, during our coding and all that and and that can make we can make changes on this uh, variable const as the name says it's, it's a constant a it's a variable that uh, the value will not change so for our case and it's the speed constant in this case because it will be the speed of our movements I will add it uh, one 150 as speed and as simple as this to to add a constant on sheet script so now at least for now we are going to add a function we're going to call a uh, built-in uh, function call it call it physics uh, process uh, for those that came from unity physics process is like the on update uh, because it will be uh, kind of called uh, every frame so let's do it Funk and underscore for built-in physics process is the first one you have other stuff but this is the one that we need right now sorry and we have, what we are going to do now uh, is to um, to add our controllers in our case it will be the up down left right arrows uh, arrows or the ASDW to move our uh, player uh, 
so for that you need to go here on projects project settings and then input map here we are going to add our actions these actions um, will be the name or uh, we're going to have the name of the action for our uh, example will be for example up and then you add the event that you want to, to listen in our case for the up uh, movement we need to listen you can you sorry you click here head and then you have the events that you want you have the keyboard mouse and joypad gamepad that you want to have you can search it or simply you go here listening input and press w and your w key is selected press it ok and you do the same for the up arrow and the up arrow is selected okay we are going to do this for the other three actions it's down left and right now down it's simple it's s okay selected and down arrow okay for the left it will be easier a and uh, left arrow and for the right D and right arrow and we already our our controllers here I know that uh, for those that can unity you have to get put and press something like that here you, at least we to configure our uh, key inputs it's here now we are going to do the code to check which action we are doing for that we have um, input dot is and you have a lot of actions here just pressed just released for key down key key up and the one that at least for now we need is is action pressed you do the thingies and you select which one do you want it for the first example it will be left since we need to check the conditions what you're going to do and if if we press or our action was left in this in our case will be the a or left arrows pressed we are going to do is velocity dot x and will be minus speed I mean the meaning of this is that the velocity of our uh, player on the x axis will be the speed on the negative because we we are moving from the positive values to the negative ones or how can I say it uh, uh, easily we are decreasing uh, the x value uh, so we are going to copy because we are going to do this for the other ones so now it's right and for the right it will be positive value now we are going to do this for the y axis for the up axis the up action sorry will be minus speed because it will going to be to the uh, negative y values if I'm not wrong <laughs> hope to be wrong uh, and for the sorry for the down values will be positive okay let's save it <coughs> sorry and let's see if it works blade you know. oh, but nothing happened. Why? why is nothing happen because we forgot one essential thing here to uh, make our stuff work and that's the call we need to call a built-in function called move and slide this is the function that will make our code here our code is working but 
uh, that is going to make our velocity uh, works and let's test it okay good oh wow it's working it's so marvelous okay this is was our basic uh, movement in the next video i will teach you guys how to make the jump so hope that you like it if you want more videos like this one just uh, hit the subscribe button the like and the notification bell to receive the updates and see you guys on the next video bye bye